Hey guys, what's going on? Kyle here with the car, guys. I'm here with Pat once again, back at it again with another top. Yeah. Number 30 this time, right? Yep. Awesome. Well, um, this was Richmond, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yep. Also, before we get into the deck profile, you got a book actually coming out, right? I do. Awesome. Road to the it's King. Road to the King, right? Yep. Yeah, so it's going to be pre sale. It's going to be, you'll have a link down in the description below. Uh, it's an ARG site, right? Uh, yeah. Airplane, it'll Amazon. also be available on Amazon for like uh, people in other countries because it'll probably be cheaper to ship from Amazon, but yeah. Uh, also on ARG. Okay, so awesome. I'll have that link in the description below, promoted and everything for Much you. Appreciate it. Awesome. So, what did you end up playing in, uh, in Richmond? Uh, a very standard deck, actually. It was I wrote on my deck list the concession because, like, we just kept trying other things and we just couldn't figure out what was better. Like, mm -hmm. uh, everything was just worse. So we ended up just playing something very standard. Awesome. Well, let's uh, let's get into your list here, and I'll, I'll ask you questions along the way, obviously. All right. Um, three sorcerer. Of course. Um, one silver claw. This card was the 40th card. Didn't really care to play it. Didn't really care to not play it. Um, I think I used it as a scale like once. I make mm -hmm. Master Key Beetle with it, and that's about it. Um, so pretty much like, the only good thing about it is like, high scale and it's a dark. Pretty yep. much. Right? Yeah. It's a level four too. So if you pop a sorcerer, then you can at least summon it back. Or if you pop like a uh, Gee Turtle or something, it's just gone. Okay. Monkey board. Key Turtle. This card kind of sucks. Like we didn't want to play it at all last mm -hmm. format, but now yeah. I feel like you just need the plus ones. Okay. Um, two lizard draw. Uh, Luster. Three master. Uh, just two vector. Why did you end up going this route with it? Vector sucks. Vector does, <laughs> Vector's really bad. I don't know. <laughs> um, like sometimes you'll have a dead painful decision because mm -hmm. you only play two, but other than that, it's just like Vector's really pretty bad if you're not searching it with like a mid-game painful decision. And even then, it's just kind of underwhelming. Um, but honestly, I wish I could just play one. But I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, I don't know. This card sucks. Um, it's Garnet. Uh, it's cool, Crobat. Uh, three eccentric archfiend. Uh, how was this this weekend? Uh, this card was great. Um, because like one of the problems was just going second against a set strike. Mm -hmm. So it outs uh, strike. It outs you know nat beast you played against it or whatever. Yeah. Um, and it's a scale, so I liked it a lot actually. Okay, awesome, awesome. Uh, and then three Arianda. Ariana Grande, how'd you like this? Yep, uh, this card was actually better than I thought it would be. Um, it's really powerful just being a scale and a trap in one card where uh, a lot of other cards are one or the other, I guess. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, ended up maxing out on it because it seems like you don't really want to draw the traps. Like, if you draw the traps, then like it's only a trap, but if you draw this, it's a trap and a scale. So, this seemed like the one we wanted to draw, so played three of it. Okay. Um, play spells and traps. Yeah. Play two painful decision. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, the second one's dead. Sometimes you draw mid game, but it's truly really good first turn. Uh, I don't know. I really like this card a lot. I always try and play Ignites with it, I swear to God. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to make that deck work. Uh, three wavering eyes. Staple, obviously. Yeah. Uh, three upstart. Three face off. Did this ever? Did this and painful decision ever clog for you at any time? Yeah, a little bit, but like face off's the best card, like in the game probably. It's like face off diamond eye or wolf number two, yeah. but um, <laughs> I think face off's probably. Which is definitely the best card, and I would okay, awesome. absolutely play through. This card's really why I just want to even play this deck. Yeah. Um, I played Regeki, which I don't think I've ever played an event with this card in my main deck. Yeah, but I've I, noticed that. Yeah, this card sucks, but like, um, and I kind of went to the other extreme, played two Dark Hole with it too. Double Dark Hole. Yeah, um, I just kind of figured that whatever cards were in these slots were just gonna suck a lot of the time anyway. Mm -hmm. Like, there wasn't really other cards that I wanted to add. Um, and these cards were one of the, or some of the only things that were good going second to a board. Yeah. Um, because like the traps by themselves aren't good without the board. Yeah. Um, like you can just play through traps pretty easily. It's the problem that you uh, try and play through a trap and then you could, but then you'll die to your board because you had to like make a more conservative play or whatever. Um, so these make it just so it's traps by themselves. Okay. Uh, and then the board's a lot less intimidating. I played bottomless, um, no treacherous. 
Treacherous just never really came up. It was occasionally good against Monarchs, but for the most part, it was okay. not very good. Um, then I played four Solemns. Now, I wanted to ask you about this. Why this specific ratio? Because I you never see people play this one anymore. Um, you see people max out on this and play this. So. Yeah, well, I mean, other than the life point cost, this is a strictly better card than this one is. Um, but I really wanted to be able to stop Regekis and Dark Holes from, like, in games two and three, the mirror matches, um, and then Cosmo, kind of all three games. Mm -hmm. And this card let me make a big board without fearing losing to the Dark Hole. Um, and then, like, I could uh, search one of each off of it, and then uh, people would never give me this one first. If they figured it out, they could have given me two, but they just no one figured it out through the day. Um, like, if you were double searching off Ariana or whatever, but at that point, it's fine because then, like, if you're searching twice off Ariana, then you're resolving, you're having one of these to set, and you obviously had a good hand to be able to, uh, yeah, to, be able to resolve Ariana twice, so it's fine even if they do. Um, and then I didn't really want to play more than five, and like, Warning's obviously a better version than Strike, and I just wanted these to be able to stop the Dark Holes. So it's more like a mind game as well with everything. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I also just didn't want multiples of these. Like I, I thought it was a better, I thought it was a better one, mm -hmm. but I would rather have like this and this instead of you know this and this. So that's why I don't play three and zero. Okay. Um, Options in a way. Okay. Yep. And that's all the cards in the main deck. Um, the extra deck. I only played two Ignister. I uh, didn't really need the third. It's occasionally good against Cosmo, but with Utopia Lightning, you just you can still get over the big ships without yeah. the third one, and the third one almost never comes out. Uh, played Felgrand. How this card work for you? It's all right. Um, one one of the more common plays I did was I would make uh, Ignister with mm -hmm. uh, double fusion on the first turn, and then make the two fusions into this because um, if you can leave an Ignister on the board, that's like the most pressure that you can. Like that's the ideal turn one play, I guess. Okay. Um, is being able to float like a follow-up play with Ignister because then they have to answer your board and answer your follow-up where if you don't leave this on the field, they can't. you can't really die yeah. if you have this. So they can kind of leave this without fear of losing the game. Okay. Um, yeah, that was one of the definitely the more common first turn plays. Uh, yeah, I played two Dynasters. Um, and I played this. All of these cards are the best ones by far. But um, one of my one of my favorite plays game two and three would just be like if you had face off and even if you hit like Vector, mm -hmm. just like summon a Pendulum and then make this and then summon the Luster back. Um, and set traps like that's really good against Dark Hole uh, and Regeki, which were like just the two cards I was like the most worried about, I guess. Um, because then it's like you're searching Skull Crobat, so you have a follow up play. Uh, like I said, when you have traps, this is a good play. And they have to deal with this and the Luster, or otherwise you can just normal summon into Ignister, so you have like defense, a follow up, and pressure. Yeah. All by just having this and Luster on the field. Yeah. Uh, first turn. And it's a lot better against Dark Hole than making it a really big board. You only decided to play one of that? Yeah, okay. I, I, didn't, I never really uh, missed the second, but it's it's still close. It was probably like the 16th card, 17th card or really? something. If I could play a few more, <laughs> I probably would have played a second, but nothing too crucial. Uh, Diamond Dyer, my favorite, my favorite exceed. It's one of my favorites, too. Yeah, that card's broken. Um, all traps negate it. Um, Reflasia. Uh, this card was n not as good as I thought it would be, but I guess just because Arianda, between the Arianda and the actual five traps, yeah. for the most part I always had at least one trap. Um, but I don't really know if I would cut it. Like it's still bottomless from your extra deck, so it's basically a strike in the mirror yeah. from your extra deck. So I I'd probably still keep playing it, but it was probably one of the weaker cards. Um, and I played Lightning. Um, the regular Utopia and then Prime. What, what, what's the point of Prime? Um, so Prime gets around the uh, big ships. Okay. Um, if you're losing by 3,000 or more, you pay all your life points down to 10, so like, you gotta win when you do it. But um, then you uh, destroy and banish all your opponent's special summon monsters. Okay. Uh, and then they take like 300 damage for each. 
Um, so you can just like do it on uh, Dark Destroyer and it won't get the effect, or do it on like Double uh, Big Ship okay. if they have it. Um, another thing you can do is you can make uh, Utopia and then overlay this on top of it and overlay this. So it gives it, okay. And then it gives it uh, the ability to have an extra, um, make himself 5,000. Okay. Um, and that kind of works well with Trapeze. Because then, uh, if you can make um, trapeze and a rank four, then you can make him uh, make him five thousand and twice, and it's just uh, during each battle, so it's not like a once per turn effect. Okay. So you can uh, make him five thousand twice in the same battle phase. Um, so you could like attack over like big ships for game. That's what they're saying. I don't think it came up, but it, I, I thought it would have been cool. <laughs> um, King of the Feralimps. Uh, Dweller, this card sucks, I always want to cut it, like, I don't think it's actually very good against Monarchs, but, because, like, I don't know, they, like, they can always just chain the trap, and then stopping mm -hmm. Pantheism just isn't impactful enough, and then yeah. it's just, like, you use two real fours to make it, yeah. but, I don't know, I still ended up playing it, it's one of my least favorite cards, though, and then I play Key Beetle. Um, Key Beetle is mostly for the side deck when signing Master of Strix. Of course. And then um, they would have to have like Regeki and Twin Twister to out mm -hmm. Key Beetle this, and then um, that I guess this is like the main reason for Silver Claw, even um, just to be able to give yourself that. And then also, it's uh, pr it protecting Strike. From Diamond Dyer, protecting Vector from um, Wavering Eyes is kind of good in the mirror. Okay. Um, Turn off their skills and just stop whatever they bring out, yep. like a pendulum. Okay. You usually need like one more defensive card for it to actually be good, but. Okay. Uh, then I played these two sided. Uh, sided okay. Yeah. Um, usually, your first turn plays are really good anyway, so you don't necessarily need Beast. The only reason I played it was because it would let me make a big field without losing to Regeki and Dark Hole. Like, it, since I could just negate it where all the other big fields would kind of, like, more okay. lose to it. I, it wasn't that great, but... Did it I, end, I end up winning you any games? Huh? Did it end up winning you any I games? I mean, yeah, like one, but I don't know if I would play it again. It's okay. just, I don't know. Because sometimes, this card sucks to draw, so, like, I don't know if it's worth it. Um, when most of your first turn plays are usually broken anyway. Um, and then three MST, two Twin Twister. Um, this card's kind of like a really high cost, so I don't really think that. I think the MST is still just a better version of it, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, I like those cards. Then uh, I play three System Down. Do it, um, Cosmo. Yeah. Uh, this card actually sucks. Like, I don't know, they always had the little ships on the field until I was ready to make a play, and then at that point, they'd already stopped already my play. Yeah. So, like, I don't know, I probably, I, I wasn't that big of a fan of this card. I probably wouldn't side it again. Um, and the card that I did like against Cosmo is we just, we didn't even side out any of the other traps against them, but, like, the, the counter traps are always just the best cards against Cosmo. Mm -hmm. um, just banishing their ship. Um, when they try and activate the effect of someone from hand, and that's like really good. So then game two and three, you'll just have all of these in, and then you have like these and Ariandas, you can almost always negate their ship, and it just makes their deck so slow. Mm -hmm. um, that well, you don't have to pay anything either if you have the Ariandas. So. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, so then it just makes their deck so slow that they can't really compete if you just like, can someone pendulums, which that's what your deck does, right? Yeah. <laughs> but that's the whole deck. Awesome. Well, congrats on 30, you said, right? <laughs> yep. That's that's insane. That's insane. <laughs> we'll definitely see you after 31, all right? Yep. Appreciate it, Pat. This has been Kyle and Pat with Car Guys. We'll see you guys later. Hey, Take care. Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs>